Woman. Isn't she the Golden Rakshasa? And that black haired guy. Whoa, he's super famous. Huh, it's him. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> oh dear. How unexpected. The Ashen Chevalier. No way. <laughs> what? Attention! I will have silence! We will now begin the entrance ceremony for Thor's Military Academy's branch campus. The opening speeches will be omitted. We will begin by announcing class assignments. First, Class 8, Combat Tactics. The instructor is Randolph Orlando. Right. Step forward when I call your name. Jessica, Wayne, Sydney, Maya, Ash, Freddy, Gustav, and Leonora. You eight. <laughs> Next, Class 9, Military Finance. The instructor is Toa Herschel. Um, I'll call out names now. Sandy, Kyrie, Tita, Louise, Tatiana, Valerie, Muse, Pablo, and Stark. There are nine of you in total. <laughs> class 8 and Class 9. Combat tactics and military finance. Then the ones left over are... Silence! We will now have a word from our principal. Principal, if you would. Huh. I am Aurelia Le Guin, principal of the Branch Campus. As some of you are new to Erebonia, not all of you may be familiar with my name. That, however, is of little concern to me. A few of you may have noticed already, but I'll spell it out for the rest. This school is a trash bin. Huh? Hmm. Thor's main campus will be welcoming the Crown Prince this year. As such, it will go through heavy reform. This campus is a place they can toss aside those deemed too troublesome or those with problematic backgrounds. Just like that, all of you, our instructors, and even myself are here because we have been tossed aside. <sighs> hey now. No, Principal Le Guin. That is far too... However, there is a saying. Be ever vigilant as though the world is a battlefield. Such a mindset is difficult to learn in times of peace. However, the situation we find ourselves in is a perfect environment for it. Those who lack the resolve to better themselves, to reforge themselves in the fires of adversity, leave now, or you run the risk of leaving later in Adios's arms. Very well. In that case, I welcome each and every one of you to Thor's Military Academy's Branch Campus. Arise, O oh youth, and become the foundation of the world. I greet you with these familiar words from Emperor Dreykels.
Well, I'm nice and overwhelmed now, but... Just where are we supposed to go? <sighs> General, um, Principal, could I get you to announce the final class? <sighs> huh? Very well. We'll be picking up after the main campuses, classes 1 through 6, with our own classes 7 through 9. The three of you make up class 7, Special Operations. Your instructor will be him, Reen Schwarzer. I looked over the blueprints, but I didn't think it'd be this big. Don't get so excited. This facility is nothing remarkable. As I explained before, much of your duties will be performed here under my direction. I expect nothing short of raw talent from a Russell. Uh, yes, sir. So, she's a student here after all. I could swear I've heard the name Russell somewhere before. But more importantly, Where class seven is clearly no coincidence. Only three students, and she's one of them. Combat tactics and military finance are undergoing their orientations at the moment. Special operations will be having an orienteering exercise. You must make it through this facility in one piece. <laughs> in one piece? What does that mean? What is this building for? It's called Einhell Keep. It was built in conjunction with the branch campus for testing new methods of training. The interior is fully controllable via orbital technology and features variable difficulty levels. As for your exercise, you will be combating monsters and such unleashed within the keep. What? M monsters? That's a joke, right? Now I understand. Special operations, indeed. I guess this is a fitting enough exercise, given our class's name. And it's not just for my students, either, is it? It helps that you're quick on the uptake. That said, don't assume it will be the same as the Class 7 you were part of. Rather than an experimental clash between social classes, this one will act as an established task force for assignments in the field. And as its instructor, you will have your students see each assignment through. It's all starting to come together. Hold on just a second. We did what you said and came here, but what the heck is all this crap? This is just... I mean, no one ever told me I was being put in some shady black ops squad. Your placement in class seven is the result of your aptitude test, Cadet Crawford. If you are dissatisfied, you have the option to pack your bags and return to the military police academy. <laughs> That's all the way in Crossbell. I've yet to accept the situation, but I understand it now, at the very least. Can you give us more details? Certainly. Instructor Schwarzer and the three of you will enter the keep and stand by for further instructions. While on standby, they will explain their qualifications as you brief them on the use of the Arcus II. Understood. Bah! Finally, we can begin the trial. Disciple candidate, don't dawdle. Everything must be up and running in ten minutes. Yes.
Damn. Looks like this school's even more messed up than I'd heard. I'd prefer if non-affiliates stayed off the premises. <laughs> Take it easy. I ain't here to cause trouble. As soon as she's done with her orientation, I'm getting the hell out of here. Very well. You may have been referred here by the royal family, but don't forget your place. That extends to any actions you and your friends will take in the Empire from here on out. <laughs> I'd say that's up to you guys, you know? You got a whole country up to its neck in plots and schemes, and then a screwed up school like this pops up out of nowhere. Really makes you wonder who's pulling the strings around here. I suppose I should have expected as much from an A-rank bracer. A facility full of untested mechanisms certainly sounds like a playground for the professor. So how much do you already know? Nothing too specific. The above ground portion is a cube measuring 50 arch on each side, and the below ground area is still being expanded. Hmm? Are the two of you already acquainted? We are. I just had no idea she'd be one of my students. But that's neither here nor there. Let's start with introductions while everything's being prepped. I just got here earlier today, so I'm sorry I haven't had time to speak with you two yet. I'm... <sighs> Why even bother introducing yourself? We all know you're Reen Schwarzer, the Ashen Chevalier. The big hero who put an end to the Erebonian Civil War when he was just a student. Not to mention the occupation of Crossbell. I'm sure everyone in Erebonia knows who you are. Probably everyone in Crossbell, too. <sighs> In addition, you resolved incident after incident across the Empire as part of your schoolwork. Then, during the Northern War last October, you worked alongside General Le Guin and Brigadier General Bardius to annex North Ambria. Le Guin? Like, our principal? Wait, what? And he helped occupy North Ambria? That's erroneous. The actual circumstances were... You're both very well informed. Though, calling me a hero is a bit much. I'd still like to say a little bit about myself. As you know, I'm Reen Schwarzer. I'm a graduate of Thor's Military Academy's main campus. I got my diploma just last month, and I'm starting as an instructor here at the branch campus today. I'll be overseeing martial arts and Panzer Soldat training outside the classroom. Inside the classroom, I'll be teaching history. That is, of course, in addition to being the homeroom teacher for Class 7 Special Operations. <sighs> I'll go next. My name is Kurt Vander. I'm from the capital. I've heard more than just the common stories about you. You're a Vander? That would make you General Zex and Lieutenant Colonel Mueller's... Mueller is my older brother, and Zex is my uncle. Though I'm aware I look nothing like them, right up to my hair. Yeah. It's true, he doesn't have dark hair or even a similar build. By the way, are those glasses fake? They don't look good on you at all. You should probably get rid of them. Oof. <laughs> Fashion is clearly not their intended function. <sighs> All right, I get it. They don't look good. No need to rub it in. Nice to meet you, Kurt. You're up next. <sighs> Fine. Oh, brother. I'm Una Crawford. I transferred here from the Crossbell Police Academy. And honestly, I'd rather not be here. But if that's how it's gonna be, then I'll just have to make the most of it. Ah, Crossbell. I had my suspicions. So, when you say police academy, you're talking about the military police academy, right? 
There was no military slapped on the name before the annexation. You guys are the ones who changed it. Are you saying I can only call it by the official name the great and powerful Erebonia has blessed it with? No, that's not what I meant. Sorry. I was being insensitive. <laughs> well, I might have overreacted. But I still don't accept that name. Yeah. That's completely understandable. Hmm? I'm less than. Altina Orion, formerly part of the Imperial Army's Intelligence Division. Uh... uh isn't that classified? My affiliation with them ended upon my enrollment here. On paper. Please, think nothing of it. I feel as though I've just heard something I shouldn't have. The Intelligence Division is pretty hardcore, isn't it? N uh, hold up! What do you mean, on paper? Slip of the tongue. Oops. <laughs> There's that snark. Thank you for waiting. Preparations are now complete for the level zero Einhell trial. If you haven't already, please set your Arcus 2s now. Is that the girl from earlier? I was under the impression she was a student like us. Understood. Give us just a moment. Each of you were given one of these, right? Ah, that. I was sent one, but I haven't turned it on yet. It's a battle orbment. Normal battle orbments are personal devices that link with their user and can produce a variety of effects. They can improve your physical abilities and allow you to cast orbital arts, among other things. But this is the newest model, the Arcus II. It has a few additional functions. Interesting. It's a little different from the Enigma models in Crossbell. To be precise, they are the product of a collaboration between the Reinford Company and Epstein Foundation. I assume these models are combat ready? Yeah. I'll explain how they work. Now, each of you take one of these. We get Master Quartz? The Enigmas did have these. The basics should be the same. Go ahead and set your master quartz in the central slot. Yes, sir. Uh, here? I should set mine while they're at it. 